Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Sunday, September the 10th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. And this year we are following Dr. John MacArthur's devotional book entitled Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. Today's entry is entitled Maintaining Spiritual Effectiveness. And from the scriptures we read from Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11, stand firm against the schemes of the devil. Our main thought today is Satan wants to render you ineffective for Christ. Pastor MacArthur writes, in 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9, Paul says, A wide door for effective service has opened to me, and there are many adversaries. That's typical of spiritual warfare. The more opportunities you have to serve Christ, the more adversaries you'll face. That's because Satan seeks to hinder your spiritual service. Often seminary students ask me if ministry becomes easier over the years. In one sense it does because you learn better study skills, time management and the like. But in a greater sense it becomes more difficult because as you labor in the word, contend for souls and struggle against your own weaknesses, Satan opposes you at every single turn. You can sense something of the difficulty of ministry in Paul's words to the Thessalonians. Paul writes, Having thus a fond affection for you, we were well pleased to impart to you not only the gospel, but also our own lives, because you had become very dear to us. For you recall, brethren, our labor and hardship, how working night and day so as to not be a burden to any of you, we proclaim to you the gospel of God. That's from 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. And to the Ephesian elders, Paul said, Be on the alert, remembering that night and day for a period of three years, I did not cease to admonish each one with tears. That's recorded in the book of the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 20, verse 31. Every sphere of ministry is important, whether you're a pastor, a homemaker, factory worker, or student. Consequently, every ministry encounters opposition as Satan attempts to cause friction and discouragement within families, churches, workplaces. Thus, believers must be humble and gentle toward one another, being diligent to preserve the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace, as Paul writes in his letter to the Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 3. When we do that, the body of Christ is strengthened, and Satan can't gain a foothold. Ministry is hard work, and the obstacles are great, but the victories are even greater. So be faithful, knowing that God will reward you richly. My dear friends, I thank you so much for taking the time to listen, just a few minutes of your day, to listen to this devotional refle reflection written by John MacArthur. And I am so blessed to be able to read it for you and provide it in this way. I've taken uh, Pastor MacArthur's um, suggestions for prayer and for further study, and I've placed them in the description of this video so that you can reference them and interact with them and gain the additional learning that's available there, which will help with your discipleship walk. Until we can be together again, that should be tomorrow, to hear the next installment in Pastor MacArthur's excellent devotional book, I pray you will go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.